smile, Cody. I'm getting to be recording. I'm going to rewind it to see if it's working. Can you smile at least? Show them pretty white. Okay, I'm recording this for Cody. Cody Sherman. This is a Cole Center for Healing. This is where she's going to come and get her hyperbarium treatment. This is what she's going to be doing. So she's going to be able to walk and talk again. Now as far, far as speech goes, there's really, there's not. Cody has not spoken a word since uh, the accident, which happened July 17th of 2006. There has been two occasions, there's only been two occasions that we've heard her holler out something. And both times, I believe she was either sleeping or falling asleep or coming out of a sleep. And we heard her holler the word mom. Oh, but sorry. those are the only two times that uh -huh. she's spoken since the accident. Okay. Okay. Now, as far as imaging goes, um, uh, um, as how far the, the degrees that, that she had damage, do you... Do they know, or what's what's known about from that? from what I understood? Because um, I got custody of Cody later on, mm -hmm. her sister had custody of her for uh, a, a brief period of time, and Cody was in Brookside Extended Living Center. <laughs> but okay. um, so this is a care plan that Dr. Cole put together for for uh, Cody, and it ranges from office visits that he does to you know the hyperbarics chambers and. You guys got a list of exactly most of the things we have here. So this mm -hmm. is most of the things we have here. And then Dr. Cole puts together more specific plan based on Cody's condition. Okay. Um, and then what I do is take this information with talking to you and figure out, okay, what are you, you know, first of all, financially, what can you afford to do? Because obviously a lot of it is out of pocket and it, mm -hmm. it can be expensive um, for out of pocket costs. Um, and then, um, as far as time-wise, how, what's the most, you know, what's the best therapy to do that, with the best result in, mm -hmm. in Cody's case? Definitely the hyperbarics, I would say, and you, you've done some research, I guess, on your own, too. Mm -hmm. um, I've been researching it for about the last four months. Okay, good, good. Um, so hyperbarics, we've seen some pretty amazing things with it, with brain injury, whether it's actual injury, accident, or mm -hmm. stroke, or um, uh, some kind of infarction of, of some sort. But um, when there's injury to the brain and how we can get those brain cells to make new connections and um, because it's plastic, you know, mm -hmm. we do know that the brain does not just, just a structure and it just stays there and once the cells are, are dead or dormant, they, they don't do anything. They, they actually are alive. They're, they're, they're fluid. You can make new connections every day, and especially kids. Mm -hmm. you know, the younger a child is, the most likely that, 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 that things will start to happen and, and cells mm -hmm. will regrow. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I think that sounds like what you guys are looking for, and, and you know we've seen that too um, with cerebral palsy kids. That's wonderful. Yeah, it is pretty amazing. That's to see. wonderful. Yeah. So, um, recommended, like you were saying before, schedule wise, he's recommended 40 treatments. Now, um, as far as treatments go, it is best to try to get them in as soon as is possible after you're done. So, usually recommend every day. Um, you could do one to two times a day. Um, Probably every other day would work if time is an issue, mm -hmm. but um, but most of the protocols are daily. Mm -hmm. So um, so we'll just have to, as far as your family's needs and, and transportation goes. You know, and well, the first week we're going to do it. The first nine days we're going to do it twice a day, every okay. day, Perfect. every day. Great, yeah. every Great. day. And and really by the end of that week you should start to see something. And then every other day. Yeah. Two okay. times. Okay, perfect. I don't. Yeah. That, that he told good. us that she may be a little fatigued, and he and normally right. sometimes that happens mm -hmm. when you know your body is taking in this much, but only you know a couple of days, and then you're mm -hmm. kind of back, you know, right. back to where you were. Right. But yeah, I mean, I'm I'm not expecting I'm not expecting a miracle, but I I would like to see yeah. one. But right. you know, I um mm -hmm. I just I, I just think that she will really benefit from mm -hmm. this. I really do. You're getting filmed. Hi, Cody. You watching your movie? Go ahead and watch your movie, and I'll leave you alone, okay?
Do your swallowing so your ears pop. I don't want your head to explode. Okay? <laughs> she also heard her last word. I said, if you don't pop your ears, you don't. She's really been fatigued. Yeah, that's, that's common. Yeah. That's good, though. It's good for her. She's watching her movie. Yeah, she's probably been fatigued. And she was fast. Because I've been going home and taking care of things at home and seeing things staying up for those elders. I just had to come up this morning and I had to say I'm going to have Gwen's new diapers up and things like that. That's a sign of the oxygen getting in the brain. It is? Yeah. Well, boy, she's been getting it because <laughs> that's all we've been, well, it's been it. I've been sleeping too, right, Cody? This week is right. Yeah. Cody, she, she's in heaven, man. I'll, all I do, all I gotta do is all I gotta do is show him a picture, show her a picture of these two guys, and she, I mean, she's ready to. Oh, she, she, did, she takes her medicine. She does everything. And she really, really got mad at me one day. Remember when I come home and I said, Cody, guess who I seen today? Remember when me and you came up here? And I said they talked to me. She was so, she was hitting me. She was mad at me because she didn't get to come up here. She's like, leave me alone so I can watch my movie. Peace. Peace. Can you give me a peace sign? Can you give me a peace sign, sissy? Look at her. She gave me the peace sign, Myrna. Peace, Cody. That's a good girl. Good job. Peace sign. Get that, get that finger down there. Okay. Sister Mary Elephant, look at you. <laughs> look at you. Hi. Hi. Are you warm? <laughs> Are you warm? No. What are you doing? Thank you. Coco. Uh oh. You're in fine, she's a good girl. Come on, she's a good girl. Come on. Is it cold? Yeah, because we gotta go through the vehicle, we gotta go through. We gotta go through the mud and the muck to get her in the house. Let me get up here in front of Ronnie. Get up here in front of Ronnie. Cody, can you smile? You're gonna be on TV. You're gonna be on TV. Smile. Look at you. Look at you smiling. Come on, Cody. Don't make me walk backwards, I'll fall. <laughs> That'd be funny, huh? Hang on. Hi. This is Tina, and I'm in Cody's room, and there's Cody. All you can see is her big, fat face. But, Cody, here's your pudding, okay? Let me zoom back. Hang on, let me zoom it back. Let me zoom it back so you can see. Cody, I want you to take your spoon. Did you take your spoon? Take your spoon, okay. Can you put it up to your mouth? Here, let me help you get your spoon. Hang on, let me give you your spoon. Hang on, let me give you your spoon. Okay, now, can you feed yourself, Co? Show me how you can feed yourself that pudding. You got it? You holding on to it? Come on, come on, Cody. Put it up to your mouth and eat it. Eat that pudding. Eat that, oh, good girl. Look at that. She eating that pudding. Get that spoon out of your mouth. Look at you. <laughs> you look funny, Cody, with the spoon hanging out of your mouth. <laughs> Quit laughing, eat your pudding. <laughs> eat your pudding, pull that spoon out. Come on. Get it all off there. Quit looking at look at the look at the TV screen up here. Look up here, cause you're on camera. I'm filming. Oh, that was good. You you barely got a little tiny bit on your mouth. Eat this for me. Here's your other spoonful. Let me let me show let me show what they're doing. What you're doing? There she goes. See? Here she's got her spoon. Take it up to your mouth, Cody. Come on. Come on. Take it up to your mouth. Come on. Eat it. Good girl. That's a good girl. Look at you. Say hi. I'm eating my pudding. Hey, can you say hi to to your two friends, Scott and Curtis? Can you say hi to your two friends, Scott and Curtis? You know who they are, don't you? That's where, whoop, uh oh, look up. You're, I got to put it all over your face now. I said I got to put it all over your face now. Come on. Get this off. Look, now it's all over your side of your face. You're silly. <laughs> Quit laughing. Quit laughing. <laughs> oh, don't show people your teeth like that. It looks like you've got rotten teeth. And you don't. you got pretty teeth. you got pretty teeth. 